This episode of Silly Science with Simon is brought to you from this amazing and completely safe volcanic island. Check it out! Sorry, that must have been something that I ate. That one wasn't me. Watch out! It's gonna erupt! Whoa, that was a close one. Now that I'm safe, let me show you how to make your very own model volcano erupt. Are you ready? Then let's get science. To do this at home, you're going to need bicarb soda, warm water, detergent, some mints, red food colouring, vinegar, measuring jugs and some spoons. You're also going to have to make a model volcano. I use a plastic sauce bottle surrounded by brown, yellow, green and blue play-doh to get this tropical island effect. For the rest of this experiment, you will need an adult self. Add a quarter of a cup of bicarb soda to a quarter of a cup of warm water. Add a few squirts of detergent and give it a quick stir. Pour this mixture into your bottle. Next, add 3 cups of vinegar to a teaspoon of red food colouring. We want the lava to look bright red. Carefully pour the vinegar and red food colouring into the bottle and then stand back. Whoa! Whoa! Let's get all of that in there. That is cool. Oh no. Oh no. Um. So how does all this happen? The vinegar that you get from the shops is a mixture of water and acetic acid. The full name for bicarb soda is sodium bicarbonate. When you add these two chemicals together, you get a chemical reaction. Let's do that in a Ziploc bag. This reaction changes those two starting reactants into three products, a salt, water, and a gas, carbon dioxide. We're trapping the gas in this bag, and you can see just how much it is made. Oh no, it's gonna break! In the volcano experiment, a lot of carbon dioxide gas was created really quickly and came shooting out of that bottle. Because we added the detergent, a lot of this gas got trapped inside bubbles and started to ooze down the side of the volcano, looking just like lava. Hmm, science is all about trying new things. I'm going to do that same experiment in this pop top and see what happens. Are you ready? Let's go. Oh no. Bex asked me to film the rest of this video outside, so let's see how high this thing can really go. That's it for today's episode of Silly Science with Simon. I had a heap of fun making this one, so if you liked it, make sure you hit that like button and tell all your friends. Have a go at these experiments yourself and let me know how you go in the comments section below. I'll see you next time.